summer is on, I'm planning my creative summer project and I also happen to be up in the north of Sweden hiking. So here we are in uh, the middle of northern Sweden in Murjek and uh, I'm gonna spend uh, the next week hiking through the mountains. The last couple of weeks or month I've been working really hard on some video projects but finally I'm getting some vacation and uh, I'm gonna spend this vacation, the first part here, up in the north, uh, north of the polar circle, which is pretty far north even for me as a Swede, as I live uh, almost as south you can come in Sweden. So it has been quite a distance to travel. This summer I'm going to spend uh, writing on a novel, not the sci-fi one, but uh, I think I mentioned it before, I started on it for Nana Remo, uh, it's a horror novel, and uh, I'm thinking about taking two months, so the rest of July and August to at least finish the first draft. Uh, it doesn't have to be that long and uh, it's mostly to get into the process of uh, finishing a book before I actually uh, finish the sci-fi novel uh, and like to refine my language and uh, yeah, things like that. <laughs> So far the trip has been really great, we have had great weather, even if it's quite warm and sunny. Uh, when we went from Porte to Aktse, that was like the longest trip I have ever walked. And uh, so it was 20 kilometers and in the end there was a lot of mosquitoes, which is the insects I hate. There are a lot of mosquitoes here <laughs> of different sorts. Um, and then when we arrived at the lake on the other side of Aktse, our destination, we have to go by boat. And you can take a motorboat, um, but it was too late, so then we had to go by rowboat. And the thing is, there are three boats, and you have to... There always has to be one boat uh, on each shore. So what we had to do was that we took one boat with five people, went over, took one hour, then two of them jumped off and uh, the three of us went back with three boats and picked uh, up the rest of the people with two boats and went back. So that took some time. And then we finally got to eat dinner <laughs> at like midnight or so. Then the day after we went from Aktse up uh, to a mountain called uh, Skirfe, or Skirfe uh, which was also a really nice uh, trip. We got to see uh, or and feel snow in the middle of July, which in itself is quite amazing, even for a uh, Swede. And, uh, we saw a reindeer suddenly running down the mountain and we got to go up on the mountain itself and see that view. <laughs> this is Skirfe and the Rapa Valley. Then, the day after that, we went from Aktse 
to uh, Situyare and that trip was uh, a walk in the park uh, compared to the other ones um, was also a, a lake that we had to go over and we thought about rowing but we decided to go by motorboat which was a really good idea because then we got there a little bit earlier and we could take a bath uh, in the lake and uh, during the evening we finally got to play some board games uh, and uh, eat some snacks and candy which uh, is worth a lot <laughs> when you do those hikes Currently we are on our way from uh, Sitoyare to Saltolukta which is uh, like a big uh, station Things are going fine we're gonna take a break for lunch and later this day we'll end up in Saltolukta So now we have arrived in Saltolukta and I just wanted to underline how strange it is that it's midnight now and this is the light here, in the middle of the night. So in a couple of hours, the sun will go continue behind the mountains. And then we'll go over the mountains again. And all the way around. And then during the winter it's like totally dark instead. The intercity train, service number 95, with departure time 15.30 to Natavada, Budan, Luleo, will depart from track 1A. So now I'm on my way back south and uh, I'm going with the night train and tomorrow I will wake up back in civilization again. And uh, what can I say about this trip? It, uh, it has been amazing. Uh, I was hoping for some more time to think about uh, the novel, but I've been more focused on like here and now while hiking around. And I think that is equally as equally important. Like all the experience that I have gained during this trip, which I uh, haven't experienced before, I think they will pay off sometime in the future. And I'm thinking about like the vistas themselves, um, the, the knowledge about like how much I can push myself uh, while yeah, walking around. And uh, also like understanding of how how the earth works, <laughs> what to say, um, like with the midnight sun, to actually experience night after night with a sun that never sets. It is quite amazing, and I think that will like be a part of my collective, like creative uh, library that will uh, one day come to use. Uh, the rest of the summer I will continue hiking down south and uh, I really really have built up an urge to write so I hope I, uh, I'll be able to do that. I guess that's it so if you liked what you saw in this video then uh, please give me a thumb up, comment and uh, of course subscribe if you want to continue to follow me in my journey for reaching my four creative goals before I reach 40. Thanks and uh, see you next time.